drop some ones in the chat. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool. So, good night, everybody. Uh, I hope everyone had a wonderful and successful day. So, uh, I know we, we have a session here tonight. Um, I just want to share a little bit um, about myself before we get started. For those that don't know me, my name is Jorina Roll. I just started um, trading about two weeks now into, you know, uh, HFX. And um, I want to tell you guys, you know, it's been good. You know, I'm loving the, the energy. Um, I love the bondness between everyone. You know, we're all family here. And I love the way that, you know, you actually have people that help you. Um, you know, if you're confused, you know, if you don't know what you're doing and stuff like that. And uh, I just want to let you guys know tonight that, you know, um, this person that I'm going to introduce tonight, you know, he's no stranger to us. You know, um, the first time that we actually met, you know, I was telling them how skeptical I was about trading because, you know, I started out doing it for the first time um, besides HFX and you know, it really wasn't a good experience for me. And I decided to say, you know what, let me give this thing another try. And I told you, I I gave it another try. You know, I got started up, you know. I started seeing income for the first two days of trading. Um, I started going on the sites, started researching a lot. And I started to do my homework. And I want to let you guys know. And I want you guys to make sure I have a pen. Uh, and have a notebook out and take notes, always take notes. You're going to always need these notes to apply them to when you're trading. And it's going to help you to discipline yourself as well, you know? And I want to let you guys know that, you know, it only goes from the top, you know, we only going up, we're not going down, we're moving forward, and we're going to proceed, you know, just like that. And so, um, you know, this person that I'm about to, you guys are about to hear from tonight, you know, um, he's an amazing guy, you know, um, he wants what's best for us. You know, he wants what's best for you. Everything that he tells you, every single thing that he tells you tonight, I want you guys to make sure, listen and apply it. I'm telling you guys right now, I want you guys to apply that. This guy, he wants nothing but the best for you all. He wants nothing but uh, the best for me. And I believe that he's a strong gift um, to us all. He's an amazing person. Um, so uh, without a further ado, guys, let's drop some sevens in the chat. Um, as, um, you know, we invite Livingston to the call, you know, let him feel some energy, guys. Drop some sevens in the chat. All right, let me see those sevens. Let me see those sevens. All right, all right. All right, let me all see right. you can take it from me. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Can everybody hear me? Drop a one in the chat. Uh, if you can hear me loud and clear. All right, drop some ones in the chat if you can hear me loud and clear. Uh, honestly, let me pass the box to you, bro. Uh, Jarena. Honestly. But I 100% appreciate you uh, some time, you know what I mean? And honestly, just being able to hear your story uh, is so inspiring just to know that you can be able to come into this environment, uh, come into a safe space and really be able to see that you can be successful. All right. So for everybody actually on the call, I want you to go ahead uh, and drop some sevens in the chat for Jarino right quick. All right. Drop some sevens in the chat for him because, guys, seven is the number of completion. So if you do not know, every goal that you're working towards, guys, seven is the number of completion. Okay, so I want everybody to drop a seven in the chat because everything that we're about to work on, everything that we're working on, have already been working on, it's already done, all right? It's already done. So with that being said, family, I want to go ahead uh, and really be able to make sure that everybody has their camera on tonight. Guys, this is a short training. Uh, I want to really be able to go through how can you be able to prepare yourself uh, to have an amazing, successful week in the, in the charts, okay? Um, anybody ever realize that they probably had a bad trading week? And they probably didn't know why. Drop a drop a yes. Drop a me in the chat if that was you. If that was ever you. I want you to drop me in the chat. Okay. You probably had a bad trading week. You probably had a bad uh, time inside of the markets, but you probably did not know why. 
right? You probably did not understand as to why exactly you didn't really get that level of success that you was looking for, right? And I want to be able to break it down uh, because, guys, I want you to understand success is planned. It doesn't happen by chance, okay? So you being successful inside of this space, you being successful inside of the markets, guys, it comes from you planning, you know, okay? And that's the main thing you want to get done tonight, okay? You want to be able to enter the market with a plan, guys, every single week, right? Every single week before I even do anything, before I even do any calls, before I even, you know, make any money, before I even take any trades, guys, I plan out my week, okay? I want you to understand that you're not going to get the level of success that you're looking for unless you plan it out, okay? You can't expect results to just drop into your lap. You got to plan to get results. If this is making sense, can you drop a yes in the chat, too? If this is making sense so far, drop a yes in the chat. Right, because I want you to understand, guys. You don't success doesn't happen by chance. Okay, the results that you're looking for, it's not the fact that it's not there because you you wanted that level of results based on seeing someone having that level of results. Right, I remember we, me and Jarino was on a call a few minutes ago. Right, he told he told someone and he basically saw, right, he saw people that was actually withdrawing the amount of money you know that he wants to be able to withdraw. He saw people making the amount of money that he wants to make. Right, see, we set our goals based on what we see. So it's not the fact that we probably can't, we don't believe that it can happen because we first saw it, right? But the main thing is planning to get those results that you want to be able to get, okay? So I'm about to go ahead, I'm going to start sharing my screen uh, so we can really be able to get this call rocking. Uh, as you know, the regular routine, once you can go ahead and see my screen, just go ahead, drop a, a yes in the chat once you can see it. All right, so give me one second. Once you can see my screen, I want you to go ahead and drop a yes in the chat for me. Drop a yes in the chat once you can go ahead and see my screen. Drop a yes, drop a yes, drop a yes. Uh, let me make sure everybody can see. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm seeing the yes is coming through, okay? Um, everybody got their notebooks and pens on the call? I will definitely make sure everybody got their notebooks and pens because, guys, you want to be able to take notes on this, okay? Um, so the first thing you want to be able to do, all right, before you even get into the markets, guys, you got to ask yourself one question, all right? I want everybody to write, this, write the question down, right? What do I want to accomplish this week? OK, I want everybody to write that question. Now, what do I want to accomplish this week? Right. See, you could never accomplish anything if you don't even know what you want to accomplish. So you can't expect to make money inside of the markets if you don't even know how much money you want to make. Right. So you, you can't expect to, you know, go three and oh, or, or, you know, be able to make, um, you know, 60, 60 pips, 150 pips, 200 pips a week if you don't even know what you want. Right. Anybody ever heard that saying before? You can never get what you want if you don't know what you want. Anybody heard that before? Right? They want you to understand in order for you to get to that level of success, guys, you got to first identify within yourself what is it that you want, okay? Um, so can someone tell me, what is what is one of their goals that they want to be able to accomplish by the end of the week? Just let me know, what is one goal? I don't want it to be, you don't want it to, it don't, it don't have to be too specific, but just drop, you know, one goal that you probably got, right? Where they may be to, you know, to go, uh, to get to catch probably 100 pips inside of the market, all right? Or it's probably, a, you know, go 5 and 0 for the week, 12 and 0 for the week, right? Whatever your goal is, guys, you got you to gotta, you gotta understand that you got to identify it, okay? So personally, right? For me personally, my goal um, inside of the HFX market is to go 3 and 0 every single day, right? If I could go 3 and 0 or 2 and 1, I'm good, right? Inside of the FRX market, my goal is 30 pips a day. Right. So basically, I already know, OK, this is what I'm going for. Right. This is exactly what I'm going for. So uh, one second. OK, perfect. OK, so I already know what it is that I'm going for. So if I get when I get those results, I can't expect not to get those results. Right. Because I already know what it is that I'm working towards. I already know what it is that I'm working for. OK, so you got to set the intention within yourself before you start the week. All right. And this is where self-evaluation come in. You were sending us the self-evaluation. All right. Now, the reason why I'm inside of the Go Live uh, uh, Academy is so everybody can really be able to see, okay, you already know what you want for this week. Now, what you got to do is find out which sessions are you going to hop on this week? Which educators are you going to plug in with, right? Whose session are you going to hop on? What time are you going to hop on? What time are you going to be making money this week? If I ask you, what are you going to be doing on Thursday afternoon, can you tell me? Can you say I'm going to be free? I'm not going to be doing anything. Or can you say I'll actually be on a session at, on Thursday, right? You got to know your schedule. You have to plan out your schedule, okay? So let's just let's just start off with the FRX chart because uh, I know we got FRX, people that actually do FRX. Uh, I know we got people that do HFX as well on the line. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through both, all right? I'm going to go through both, 
okay? I'm going to go through both so everybody could kind of really, uh, you know, get a, a fair share here, okay? Give me one second real quick. Let me adjust these settings. All right, perfect. Okay. All right. So you got to look at the schedule, right? Look at, this is why I always tell people, the more you log into the I am, I am account, once you, the more you log into I am Academy, the more money you're going to make. It may not make sense at first, but it's going to make sense as you go, right? The more you log into I am dot center, I am Academy, the more money you are going to make. Okay. So let's think about it. What is your schedule going to be looking like? Are you going to be working in the morning? Or are you going to be working in the night? Are you going to be in school during the day? Or are you going to be in school during the night? Are you going to have something to do, something to do during the day? Or are you going to have something to do during the night, right? That depends on what your schedule is going to look like. So every single week, guys, you got to come on this schedule, right? And look and see which educators are you going to hop on? Which sessions are you going to hop on that accommodates your schedule, okay? So we got different educators going live different times of the day. OK, different times of the day. You could pick, choose and refuse what time you want to make money. Guys, there's over um, I think there's well over 150 educators in this platform. Right. Well over 150 combined. FRX, HFX, DCX, all that good stuff. Right. We see multiple times, multiple days, multiple dates. All you got to do is pick, choose and refuse. Right. We're trading five days out of the week. Essentially, you only need an hour to two hours a day to trade. The rest of the time, you should probably either be studying or building a business, right? So essentially, you don't really need to spend much time on the charts. You don't need to spend much time, you know, inside of the market. You hop on two sessions, you hop on three sessions for the day, you should be done, okay? So I want everybody to really think about it. What sessions are you going to hop on, okay? The first thing you need to know is what educated sessions are you going to hop on? What is your goal that you want to be able to accomplish? That's the first two things, okay? Let me go to the HFX schedule right quick for everybody that trades HFX. Okay, perfect. All right. So we basically look at the schedule. Which sessions are you going to be off and on? Okay. There's a lot of educators going live as well during the day, during the night. You could pick, choose, and refuse once again. Okay. But you got to be able to find which session are you going to be hopping on? Who are you going to be making money with? Right. Guys, the reason, the reason why a lot of people are having the success that they're having is because they can't have the success. So when they get the results, they're not surprised. Let me ask you a question. If you were to make $30 today, day inside of the market, if you would have made $100 this week inside of the market, would you be surprised, right? Personally, I wouldn't be surprised because it's planned, right? Success is planned, once again, right? You got to plan your success. So after you already identify what is your main goal, after you already identify which sessions are you going to be hopping on, what times are you going to be trading, right? Ask yourself, which products are you going to be using, right? What products are you going to be using, guys? Okay, if you don't know which products you're going to be using, then you're going to be jumping from pillar to post like a headless chicken running around. Okay, you need to know which one of these products you're going to be using. Which are you going to be using the harmonic piano to make sure you're making money this week? Right? Are you going to be using Gold Cup? Right? Are you going to be using Steady? Right? For everybody that trades HFX, are you going to be using Hourglass? Or are you going to be using Liberty? Right? Are you which, which what are you going to be using? These are the things that you need to know. OK, these are the simple things that you need to know, because it's the small things that makes the big difference over time. Right. It's the small thing. I mean, I want someone to answer this question for me. Right. When you actually get things from a red on, does it does it hurt a lot? Like like you start itching and you like you you like where does where does ants come from? But it's, it's so small. But do, does a cockroach actually do more damage than a, a, a red on? No. The red ons does the most damage. It's the small things that help you to be able to get bigger results, right? So you got to get good at making small decisions every single day, right? You got to get good at making these small decisions. What session am I off and on? What, what is my ratio I want to go for today, right? Do I want to go for 30 pips a day, right? Do I want to go for 50 pips a day? Do I want to go for three and oh, three and three and uh, um, three and one or whatever, two and one, right? You got to know these things because you got to plan your success out. Okay, what products are you, are you going to be using? Okay, after you already identify what products you're going to be using, you now need to break down your profit goal. Okay, so personally, personally for me, right? If I'm trading FRX, my goal is to go 30 pips. Uh, I, want, I only want 30 pips a day, right? I only want 30 pips a day. For everybody who do not know what is a pip, 
essentially just like how we have units of measurement with rulers like uh, um, inches and centimeters, um, pips is basically the unit measurement for the point in which the market moves. Okay, so PIP stands for point in percentage. All right, so you got to ask yourself, how many pips do you want to gain? Right, personally, for me, as I said, I only want 30 pips a day. Why? Because that's 150 pips a week, right? If that's 150 pips a week, that's 600 pips a month, right? I'm only trading five days out of the week. 600 pips a month on a 0, 0, on a 0 0.01 lot size, that's $60 a month, right? On a, on a, a 0.10 lot size, that's actually um, $600 a month. On a standard lot size, that's $6,000 a month. As you continue to increase your count, your lot size continue to increase. But if you get good at making that same simple decision, now when you get to making $1,000 in a day, you're not going to feel like you, you're not going to feel like you ain't used because you've already been there. You plan to get there. If you locked in with me and this making sense, can you drop a yes in the chat for me? If this is making sense to you, can you drop a yes in the chat? I want to make sure everybody's understanding what I'm saying right now. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I'm seeing the yes is coming through. Okay. So once you already break down, let's just say your FRX goal. Okay. Let's just say you want to break down your HFX goal, right? You can decide, okay, I want to go three and oh on every session. Okay. Let's just say I trade in uh, um, um, VL Woods at 10 o'clock, right? Personally, I don't trade in the morning time because, you know, I don't trade HFX in the morning time. I trade FRX in the morning time. All right. So let's just say you're hopping on with VL Woods, right? You say, you know what? My goal is to go three and oh. Let's just say you use an hourglass. Right, my goal is to go three and oh using hourglass. Okay, let's just say you probably use in liberty. Okay, my goal is to go three and oh using liberty. Right, three and oh or two and one. Right, if I go two and one, essentially I broke even with the one, so I'm basically good. Right, I'm not gonna go try revenge trade to get back that one because I already profited two trades. Right, so you gotta understand your ratio as well. You see, what this is going to do is it's going to eliminate the things that average traders face on a day to day. Number one is going to be greed, right? If you know you're only going for three and oh, if you know you're only going for two and one or 30 pips, guys, why would you still be in the trade if you if you ready for? You, if, if you don't have a goal, then you're going to just keep going, going, going. Goals eliminate you from actually having failure sometimes, right? Of course, you're going to fail on your way to your goal. Of course, you're going to lose some trade. We all have lost trades before, right? But once you have a goal, if I, if I say, you know what? If I actually lose, if I lose, um, if I lose uh, 15 pips inside of the market, I'm out for the day. Okay, well, guess what? If I lose 15 pips, why would I still be inside of the market? But if I didn't have that goal, I would just keep going, 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 going. Right? If I say, you know what? If you say, you know what? I want to go two and one on a session, right? If you went, if you went three and if you went three and oh, why would you still be trading? See, these eliminate the average things that people face: over leveraging, right? Being greedy. All right. See, these are the small things that people face. If you've ever over leveraged on a trade, if you've ever over leveraged on a trade, if you ever got greedy, drop a yes in the chat. For you. If you've ever faced that, if you've ever experienced that before. And if you don't, you're lying. If you don't, you're lying. Because everybody experiences it. If you're trading inside the market, you're going to experience it. Okay. So if you've ever experienced greed, if you've ever experienced the fact that you over leveraged on a trade, guys, it was probably just because you didn't have a goal in place. Now, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely transparent. Yes, we do do it when we have a goal, but the goal always brings us back to where we need to be. Even though you may deviate, you still can come back to where you know you need to be. So even if you probably over leverage today, you're gonna still be able to make sure that you know what, tomorrow I don't over leverage because you got that goal in place. But if you don't have things set in stone, guys, it's just like it's just like if there were no laws inside of the world. If there was no law inside of the country, guys, everybody would be doing their own thing. And if everybody doing their own thing, that's not a healthy society. Even though some people break the law, they still come back to the main thing. They still come back on track. Even though you probably ran the light once, you probably, you, you never run the light again, right? It may have probably been the fact that you probably just was trying to, you know, get to where you was going, but you still always come back in place to stop back at the red light, right? So this is why setting goals is so important. And honestly, I'm gonna be completely transparent. We, we were not taught how to set goals inside of school, right? We were not taught how to set goals in, 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 in college, right? Sometimes I think we were, I think some people were actually taught like smart goals and stuff like that. But most case scenario, guys, we were not taught this type of information. And that's the reason why a lot of people, even just money management, right? A lot of people say, well, guess what? They make a lot of money, but they, they can't, they probably can't save a lot of money. 
they probably can't have a lot of money in their bank account. Why? Because they don't have a rule in place for their money, right? So all of these things are things that you could apply not only just with trading, but in things in your life, right? On your day-to-day -day activity inside of the market, inside of your life, these are small principles that you could be able to apply, right? And once you get good at, and see, this is why starting it right now is so important. Because if you could be able to start a small, consistent routine now, when you're not making a large amount of money trading, when you start to make a large amount of money, you're going to be a lot much more disciplined. And I'm going to talk, talk from experience, right? I remember, guys, when I, when I literally, I was struggling to make $100 a day. I was struggling to make $100 a week. I was struggling to make $500 a month, right? And I said, you know what? Let me just focus on making $10 a day. If everybody believed that making $10 a day inside of the market is doable, can you drop a yes in the chat? If you feel like making $10 a day in the market is doable, can you drop, if you believe that that's possible, can you drop a yes in the chat, right? See, what you got to do now is start with the small goals. I know the small goal being enticing, right? I know it's, it, 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 it doesn't seem like, you know, it's getting you where you want to be, but I promise you it's getting you there, right? Because there's something called the compound effect. Guys, if you've never read that book, I'm going to drop it in the chat for you, okay? But I need, listen, if you've never listened to the compound effect, I'm going to drop it so everybody can start to listen to it. Or you can start to read that book, right? See, there's a lot of people that actually are not good at making small decisions, and that's why their life have bad um, consequences, like, holistically. Okay, so what you want to be able to do is get good at making small decisions, right? Get good at making little small choices. Decide if, you know, you're going to basically eat an apple or have a chip. That's a small decision. If you want to be healthy, right, that's a simple decision. You could make that decision without even thinking about it, right? But what's simple to do is also simple not to do, right? And this is what, guys, I want you to understand. Your trading is more so personal you. Your, tra your trading results comes into everything that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're making bad decisions on a day-to-day -day as a person, what makes you think you're going to make good decisions inside of the charts? What makes you believe that you're going to make good decisions just because now it's trading? See, trading is more of where you develop a, a lifestyle, right? And that's why I always tell people. It, for me, being able, to, being able to actually tell people about the business is not something that I honestly have to do because it's a lifestyle for me, right? I naturally just tell people about what I do, right? Me trading every day is just became a natural thing. And guys, I'm, I'm not saying it started off that way, right? I've been trading now for about a year, six, seven months, right? So it didn't always start off that way, but I'm telling you this now, so you don't have to wait until six months in to be able to understand this. Anybody understand, Anybody been in the business more than six months? Or just, just drop how long you've been in the business. I don't, I don't know. Drop how long you've been in the business inside the chat. Let me see. Let me see how long everybody been inside the business. Two weeks. Okay. Three months. Okay. So far, the numbers know to me. Eight days. Oh, my. One month, three months. Everybody lasts the six months, right? Everybody lasts the six months to a year. See, this is why you got to pay close attention when, when we're doing these trainings. This is why we got to pay close attention when we actually on these training calls. Because, guys, the reason that I'm saying this is not because I like to say this information. It's because I want to be able to give you everything that you need so you don't have to experience it when you get down the line. So you don't have to wait until you set, you, you, um, you know, seven months a year in to really be able to start to learn from the mistakes. You could learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make those mistakes. That's the purpose of mentorship, right? Your mentor actually travels the path that you have to take. So guess what? The hiccups, they can tell you, okay, when you reach this, when you reach this point, you're going to have a speed bump. You're going to have to get over this. But they're telling you in advance so you could be prepared for it. And that's why you cannot take your access for granted. Right, you cannot take the you cannot you, when you get started, you don't just get started with the academy, you get started with someone else's experience. Whoever enrolled you into the business, guys, you actually plug in with their experience. Meaning that everything that they've learned, you have the opportunity of learning and so much more because you learn it from yourself. So now you could combine the journey to make it so much more easier for you. And guys, you always hear me talk about it all the time. I didn't have nobody to learn from. 
I had to learn on my own. But you don't have to go through that, right? And all of this is where your success is coming in because it's planned. If you come in with the right mentality every week, guys, you could be able to literally, if you be consistent with your routine, planning it out every single week, there's no way in six months why you cannot get to five figures. There's no way why you should not have over $1,000 in your treatment account. If you be consistent and plan with your routine every week, do it for the, do it for the remaining of August and let me know what happens. Right? Do it, until, do it until the end of August and let me know what happens. Because I only can tell you what, what helped me to get the level of success. Right? I only can tell you what helped me to be able to go throughout this process. Okay? So honestly, guys, that is uh, the call for tonight. I don't know if anybody